Today, we will understand the edges and corners of shapes. Bablu had hidden Chanda's most loved big walnut, and Chanda had been given instructions in the letter to look for the walnut. Chanda read the letter. I have hidden your biggest walnut. If you want to find your walnut, then reach the well with any object with three edges and three corners. Chanda had no idea about edges and corners. She rushed to Big Mouth Uncle's house. She asked Uncle that what is meant by edges and corners. Children, do you know about edges and corners? Any idea? No problem. Let us also learn the concepts of edges and corners from Uncle. Uncle showed the table at his place. See that outside the surface of this table, four lines are forming the boundary of the table. We call them edges. And do you know what is meant by corners? Where two edges meet, we call that point as a corner. Uncle asks Chanda that how many edges and corners are there on this rectangular table? Children, do you know the answer? Yes, four edges and four corners. Then Chanda told uncle that she is looking for an object that has three edges and three corners. Uncle made these three shapes on paper. Children, do you recognize these shapes? Yes, this is a rectangle. This is a square. And this is a triangle. Now, uncle asked Chanda to recognize the objects with three edges and three corners. Do you recognize this shape? Absolutely right! Triangle. Triangle has three edges and three corners. Children, can you tell me if the edges of these shapes are made of straight lines or are they curved? Yes, the edges of these shapes are made of straight lines. Now, uncle said to Chanda that if she wants the solution to the puzzle, then she has to look for one triangular shaped object. Children, can you find such an item in uncle's house? Oh, wow, kids! You found it! Now, Chanda reached the well along with the hanger. Chanda closed her eyes. Seeing this, Bablu came out from behind the well and kept the walnut in front of Chanda and ran away from there. When Chanda opened her eyes and found her walnut, she started dancing with joy. Children, in this lesson, we learned about the edges and corners of shapes.